Hi Capricorn, this month for you is about looking at how you present yourself and changes happening in terms of who you align yourself with and your dreams and your goals. Hi Capricorn, okay so the most important thing is <laughs> that it's snowing, okay? I don't know if you can see that but it's snowing like mad and it's amazing and it's so pretty, it's really exciting <laughs> and I'm like a big child right now. Okay so now that we've got that out of the way you can get on with your reading. So, um, for you this month, okay, you're going to be, it's, there's going to be emphasis on how you come across, on how, how you present yourself affects, um, your impact in life, in business, in your relationships, in your communication. I think you're going to be looking at these themes of like, how do I come across? How do I present myself? How does that, because you know, if we present ourselves in the right way, if we present ourselves as we mean to, and in a way that is like cohesive with our values and our desires and our wants, then we're more able to go to, we're more able to get what we want from life, we're more able to um, influence people to help us and to align with us, okay? So I think you're going to be looking at things like this this month, which I really like, and I mean, this is stuff that we could all do with looking at, you know, because I think a lot of us present ourselves in ways that we don't mean to and that run counter to our what we actually want and what our values are, okay? So we start the, mo the moon, we start the moon, we start the month. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a silly mood. We start the month with a grand try. <laughs> okay, we've got a full moon in your ninth house. <laughs> Sorry, I got the giggles. <laughs> we've got a full moon in your ninth house of expansion and growth and higher learning and um, foreign cultures, right? And like, and the bigger picture of where you want to be in life. And this full moon, first of all, okay, so it's being opposed by Neptune. So with this full moon, there may come a sense of disappointment on some level. There may come a sense of feeling let down by something, okay? I don't want to use betrayal because I feel like it's too strong a word, but there is a sense of that. Now, this could come from um, something to do with a sibling. This could come from... Um, something to do with your local community or something that's communicated to you. Um, maybe you get an email or a text or you have a conversation with somebody and that thing that you wanted doesn't work out, you know, or something gets told to you that you didn't know before and it leads to a little bit of disappointment with that so in, an, in another person or in yourself or just in a situation, okay? But the good news is this full moon trines Saturn in your house, okay? And also Pallas Athena um, Saturn in your sign and also Pallas Athena in your fifth house of creativity and love and romance and self-esteem and children. So I feel like this disappointment is something that actually you needed to um, experience in order for you to take a more mature and grounded um, and realistic point of view as it relates to yourself, as it relates to where you're going, um, as it relates to your education, your growth, um, and as it relates to your self-confidence, you know? So for some of you, this could be like some slightly disappointing news in terms of if you have your own business and something, you know, that deal doesn't come through or, or that client, you know, you lose that client and at first you're like, oh, okay, well, that's, a sh you know, it's, at first you're very disappointed, but, you look into the whys and you look into the dynamics of it and suddenly you, what you learn from it is really valuable and you go, okay, well now it makes sense. And if I can do this, this and this different, then I'm not going to lose valuable clients anymore or that thing won't happen anymore. Do you see what I mean? You, there's some sort of growth that comes out of it. And I feel like it's you're going to use your intelligence in a creative way. That's what Pallas Athena is about. She's about success and competition and creative intelligence. And I feel like you're going to resolve it or come to a solution that is really, really clever. Um, and that almost shores up um, the flaws that were in your plan that you didn't even know were there to begin with. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes we don't realize we've got a flawed plan until something falls through and I feel like that's kind of what you're kind of you're going to experience. Now it could be to do with business, it could be to do with fam, um, siblings, it could be to do with travel plans and education or just in general like you had a plan that this is how your life was going to go and something happens. Um, 
and then something falls through. But it leaves you with a, you, you work through it and you end up with a more structured, realistic, stable, secure and mature um, um, outcome right, which is destined to be far more successful, so I really, really like that, and um, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like you're going to feel good as a result of this, but just don't be surprised if it is preceded by a little bit of disappointment, and I've been saying that to a lot of people. Okay, so the other big news this month is we've got Jupiter going retrograde in your 11th house. Okay, Jupiter is in your 11th house, and that's a cool place to have Jupiter, isn't it? I mean, this is the house of dreams and goals and wishes. I can, sorry, I can see people sliding around in the snow. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Um, so it's a cool place to have it, you know, this is about networking. On some level, you're going to have to reassess your, your dreams your wishes, you're gonna to have to reassess the people you network with, your peer groups, who you align yourself with, um, the causes you align yourself with. You're gonna to have to reassess, um, <laughs> sorry, you're gonna to have to reassess how you promote yourself and your, um, this is really distracting, how you promote yourself and how you network, okay? This is for your own good though, because what you do here over the next four months as Jupiter's retrograde, he's retrograde until the 10th of July, what you do here and the work you do will be really valuable in pushing you forward. I think Capricorns, for a lot of you, you can end up really springboarding forward as Jupiter goes direct. I mean, this is possible for, you know, all of us, but if you have a business or if you have, if you're, if you've got a business, if you're self-employed, if you're looking to start your own business, even if you work for a company and you like, and this is if you like where you work, right, and you're career focused, this sees you thinking about, right, how do I, how do I come across? How am I coming across? Um, how am I presenting myself to the world? This can see you taking courses on NLP, on um, body language, on effective communication skills, on how to win friends and influence people, that kind of thing, right? This could see you looking at who do I network with? Who do I, who are my peers? You know, it's a lot better to have a few really quality, high quality friends than to have a lot of, and I heard this term recently, ambivalent friends who half drain your energy or you don't really know where you stand with them. You're gonna start thinking about who you align yourself with. How do I promote myself? How do I market myself? And how does that fit in with where I want to be in life? Because, you know, you've got to walk the walk if you want to get the results. So I see you looking at this Capricorn and oh my goodness, I love this energy. This is really cool. And I think you, some of you could be doing some really interesting research and work over the next um, four months because Jupiter retrograde is about, he, he, this, this is where he becomes introspective and he'll bring you the most gifts if you work with that. So it's about taking the energy within rather than expanding it with outwards, right? Like Jupiter usually does. Now we want to turn it inside and we want to shift perspective. This is about perspective shifting, right? Obvious, I just said it. Um, <laughs> and we want to be introspective. We want to look at our beliefs and we want to start to integrate um, new knowledge, integrate knowledge that is going to be, going to be practically um, helpful and that is going to allow us to come from a more successful place, okay? Let me look at how successfully do I promote myself? How successfully um, do I communicate and show up? So I really, really like this. And Jupiter's making some really nice sex styles um, between the, um, a lot of the personal planets in your third house, which is the house of communication, right? So you're gonna have aha moments. You're gonna have moments where you go, oh, okay, that's why um, that's why that sales pitch didn't work. That's why I, um, for some reason, stumble on my words whenever I'm in front of that person or this group of people. Or that's a better way to market this. You know, this can be this can see you buying or investing in new technology that's really going to help push you forward. Um, all in all, you're reviewing your dreams, your goals, your wishes, where you're going, and you you're kind of you're shifting your beliefs, you're shifting your the way you show up in order to be more, um, I want to say, I don't want to say aerodynamic, but in order to be more, it's, I almost want to say slick in your approach, you know, so it's really cool. I like it. So 
Jupiter goes direct on the 8th. Up until then, all the planets are uh, direct. Um, Jupiter goes direct. Don't, oh, fuck. Jupiter goes retrograde on the 8th. Up until then, all the planets are direct. Um, so, then we have a new moon um, in Pisces, in your third house. See the theme here? Communication, right? And this new moon is really healing. It's a really nice new moon. And it touches on Jupiter, it touches on Pluto, as well as Chiron. Chiron is that healing asteroid. He's, a, he's called the wounded healer. But the, the energy here is really, I feel, soothing and is um, energy that can see, like, new information and new opportunity coming through in terms of how you communicate. And so, you know, this is, for some of you, anyone who has like, I don't know, maybe you've got like a nervous stutter or you have issues with your confidence and how you present yourself, or even just your courage, you know, because this house also rules courage. This can see you lining up with somebody who can help um, to get rid of that issue. Or this can see you just having a realization or having a moment with somebody or just with yourself, which really heals this. And you kind of go, you suddenly realize, hang on a minute, I've always been enough, or I've always, I've always been courageous enough. I just didn't realize it. So there's some healing energy around siblings, around communication, around courage, um, you know, um, around reading, writing, teaching, you know, if maybe you've been wanting to put a blog out but you weren't confident enough to do it, this could see you kind of thinking, you know what, no, I'm going to do it, it's positive energy, you know, so I really like that, um, it's gentle but there's enough, enough oomph in it um, to kind of give it some beans, you know, and so I really like this energy for you, so I really think that some Capricorns are going to be finding a new, a new sense of themselves this month, you know, <clears throat> right on so the the energy moves from your third house as we go into the month okay and it starts to shift into your fourth house of like home family private life and this is where your focus starts to go at this time of year every year and you're starting to kind of become a bit it's a bit more about you know intimate time and private time and and um this could see you renovating this could see you doing things in the home spring cleaning you know a good time for it as we're coming into spring, I don't know, it doesn't really look like it, but hey, <laughs> we're gonna be at some point. So it's gonna see spending far more time in the home and, and wanting private moments with family. After a period of being quite busy in your community and communicating a lot and maybe having a lot to do with siblings and rushing around a lot, okay? So this is also a great month for detoxification and spiritual, especially with Jupiter going retrograde. This is about purification. This is like purification energy. This is self-mastery energy. And with self-mastery, what do we have to do? We have to discard the things that are no longer serving us. So this is a great month for detoxing and a great month for healing and decluttering, okay? Your energy levels should start to rise as well um, around the 17th at the time of the new moon. So because Mars is going to be going from that 12th house where maybe your energy levels have been a bit lower, you've been not really wanting to be out in the world but maybe having to, now Mars is going to come into your sign. So you've got Pluto, Mars and Saturn in your sign. I mean, Jesus Christ, that is a lot of, like, that's a lot of power there. So this, this, this sees you becoming um, very dynamic, very go-getter, very um, I know what I want, you know, and very direct. Um, it can see a little bit of aggression at times, so be aware of that. Um, but I feel like that, you know, with that new moon happening on the same day, on the 17th, this could be a healing kind of moment, which makes you go, huh, I'm not going to be a victim anymore, or um, I don't need to continue that cycle anymore. And suddenly you have this burst of new confidence come forth. So you are going to be you're going to demand respect, you know, for the next month and a half. What you say will be heard. So use that power wisely, okay? And make sure that you're channeling your energy physically as well and make sure you're working out, but don't work yourself out too hard. Um, I don't want to see any Capricorns having accidents, okay? Um, and then, finally, at the end of the month, we have a full moon in Libra in your 10th house, okay? So this is bringing fruitions, culminations to... Um, your career, things to do with your um, your public and how you're perceived and your outer world, right? So there's a little bit of tension here, 
because he's squaring off with Saturn and opposing Mercury. And Mercury's retro... Sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place. And Mercury goes retrograde this month. So he's causing a T-square with a retrograde Mercury and, a, and um, opposing a retrograde Mercury and squaring off with Saturn. Okay? Be careful of communications in the workplace or with business partners, okay? Be careful, Be try to be clear on things, get as clear as you can, because it could be a misunderstanding. Um, but at the same time, this could see some Capricorns. I kind of feel like some of you Capricorns may well walk out on a job, okay? And I don't mean that in a, like a bad way, but I can see some Capricorns walking out on a job um, at the end of this month. Um, and just saying, I'm done, I've, I'm done, I've had enough. I'm not doing this anymore because this energy, it, it's tense, but at the same time, you know, T-squares motivate us to do something. So this can see you saying, nah, I've had enough, or saying, or maybe it's not even that extreme. Maybe you go, mm, okay, fine. I'm starting, I'm starting my own business, or I'm starting, you know, I'm so sick of whatever situation that I'm going to do something for myself so I no longer have to be in this for much longer. So I guess see some action coming about as a result, okay? So that will be interesting to see how that plays out. I'd like to know, let me know Capricorns if this is something that plays out for you because this is going to be in the area of work and this is going to be in the area of work, it's going to be in the area of, you know, one-to-one -one relating business partnerships. Um, it's going to be between you and another person. I see this coming out, okay? So just be aware of that. Mercury goes retrograde on the 23rd. So it's the usual thing, you know, blah, 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 double check everything, emails, all of that stuff, don't buy big expensive items or cars, sorry, I get bored of doing the whole Mercury retrograde thing sometimes, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, watch your communication, um, especially because he will be going back into your third house, I believe, um, so just watch out for that, okay? Um, people might be a bit um, hazy in their communication. Things might get missed. And that can be what inspires this thing at the end of the month where you go, do you know what? I'm I'm done. I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I've had enough, all right? Okay. All in all, Capricorn, I really like this month for you. I really, really do. And um, I'd love to know how it plays out. Let me know, guys. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And um, now on to your tarot reading.